In this video, I want to talk about some of the graphs that we'll encounter in the upcoming problems on uh, finding limits graphically. Some of the graphs that we'll take a look at are composed of a number of disconnected pieces, like this one right here. And in terms of finding the limit, it's not uh, uh, not that bad to have the the picture that we write that we have right here. But in some of these problems, they are going to ask questions like uh, find f of negative 2 or find f of 1 or find f of 6 and as the graph is pictured right here it's really impossible to tell what's going on uh, about negative 2 any place where um, I have sort of a gap in the function like here and here and here uh, you're just not going to be able to tell what what point is on the graph uh, remember these are functions and functions for every x value there's uh, in the domain there's exactly one y value and so um, here I can't have both uh, positive one and negative one as the, as the point on the graph here functions can't have that it's got to be one or the other so uh, so there's a, just some information missing when the graph looks like this so in order to uh, solve those problems what we'll do is put open dots and fill dots on the graph and then it's a lot easier to tell what the function values are at those places where the graph has uh, is disconnected like this so let's take a look and say uh, we want to calculate the value of f of minus two in other words if we had the formula for this graph which we don't have right uh, well I'm, I, I do but I'm just hiding it in here but just say you, you don't have it and don't know what the, the formula is then um, if you plug say if you had it right if you plugged in a minus two what would be the output of that function and so here before I couldn't tell but now I can tell um, the, an open dot on the end of a graph r means that there is no point there really the points get as close as you like to that open uh, to that point here at minus one minus two minus one but there really is no point on the graph right here and the fill dot uh, means that there is a point on the graph there so for instance here now I can tell if I had the formula for this and I wanted to plug in negative 2 I would find where that point is the fill dot and the fill dot has a y value of positive 1 so f of minus 2 in this case is going to be a positive 1 similar situation here at f of 1 I had on these two disconnected pieces but now you can see that there is an open dot here on and here right and the filled dot right here in the middle so if I wanted to calculate the function value f of 1 right then what I would do is find where that filled dot is and that filled dot tells me it's not at either of these endpoints right here the filled dot is right here at 2 so that means that f of 1 if I had the formula and I wanted to plug in a 1 then it would give me a 2 there as the answer okay and over here uh, I can only see open dots at 6 if I wanted to know what f of 6 is right all I can see are open dots there's no fill dot anywhere anywhere in here and so based on the information I have right uh, there is no point on the graph uh, 6 it's not here because there's an open dot and it's not here because there's an open dot and I can't see any others in here so what you can say in that case is just that f of 6 does not exist. Another way you can say it, say it is that 6 is not in the domain of f or f is undefined at 6. Any of those are, um, are fine ways to say that same expression right here. As far as we can tell, based on the information that we have, um, 6 is not in the domain here or this function is undefined at 6. So without the points in there, it's impossible to kind of tell what's going on with the function values on those endpoints of those disconnected pieces there. Uh, remember that the limit, it doesn't matter. You could do the limit problems with no problems because the limit, right, of a function at some number, it doesn't depend on that number at all. Uh, it could be related to it. It might be unrelated to it. It's just what the y values get closer and closer to as the x values get closer and closer to that point, but not equal to that point there. So, But if you want to answer questions about the function values themselves, right, then we have to have these open dots and filled dots on the ends of our functions.